Joining us now are members of the Texas A&M University Commerce Lions basketball team. In the center of our podium is head coach Sam Walker. On the far side, to Coach Walker's right, is Tyree Wooten. Tyree is a senior from Saginaw, Michigan. On the near side over here is Devondrick Walker. Devondrick is a senior from Garland, Texas. Coach, just your initial thoughts on a uh, very hard football game, but one that seemed any mistake that your team made uh, seemed to go to in the points for Charlton. Well, um, yeah, let's start and give them a lot of credit. They are they are an exceptional basketball team, and we knew that going in that they are uh, they're as good a basketball team as, as we have played. I, th I think it speaks volumes for our, our conference how good Tarleton State is, and I don't know if I'd rather play them or Midwestern State. That that's just two uh, two uh, the better teams in the entire country. So to win a game like that, you 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 can't go into it trying to be mistake free, but. They are so good at capitalizing. When you make a mistake, they make you pay for it. In the second half, uh, I thought we played really well. And when shots didn't go, they were able to capitalize. And, and they were able to put the ball in the hole. And, and uh, the, the scoreboard was just changing. I thought if, if you had turned the scoreboard off and you had been watching the game, you wouldn't have been able to tell who was winning or losing the game because I thought it was just a phenomenal battle and, and a phenomenal, uh, well-played college basketball game by both teams. A large part of Tarleton's game is rebounding, but you beat Tarleton on the boards by nine. Well, they had four offensive rebounds, and, and statistically, we've told these guys all year, if, if we turn it over 14 times or less, if we out-rebound our opponent and we shoot more than 30 free throws, those are our big goals we're going to. You, you just can't beat us. And, and when that has happened statistically, we have won every game this year. And so we did the things that we had to do to be successful. What we has come comes very natural for us is making shots. We're, we're a good shot-making team, and, and we got really good shots, and we rely on these two guys in the Don Carnegie to shoot the majority of our shots, and they did tonight. They, they got the shots and the looks, and we didn't make them. But we are not, as long as I'm the coach here, we're not going to hang our heads when we do everything else right and our shots don't go in. We're not going to think that, well, that was a bad game for us. We're going to continue to do what we do, and, and Hopefully, we, we still have another season to play in, in the national tournament. We get another opportunity to do exactly what we did tonight, but uh, but shoot the ball a little bit better. Tyree, let's start with you. Uh, 12 points. Obviously, not happy with the, the loss, but describe the game from your perspective. I mean, like Coach said, I felt like we played good. Uh, we just didn't hit shots, which is really our strong point. And uh, the turnovers probably at the end probably killed us. But other than that, I feel like we played good. Devondrick, nine points, but uh, seven rebounds. You were a uh, high rebounder for your team. You yeah, rebound Tarleton. That's kind of beating them at their game. Tell us about uh, about your game. Um, just tried to basically just be a leader tonight. You know, I, I quite frankly, I don't think I shot the ball well. Neither did anybody on the team. But what what coach what coach noted on was was the three things we do. We need to out rebound people, and we got to get to the free throw line. And um, I feel like we did that. And just looking at the stat sheet, man, it's it, it's crazy that Ladon missed nine shots, Juice missed seven shots. Like we don't, that that's it's not really what we're used to. So uh, make a couple more shots here and there. It's a different ball game. Let me ask this: the, the missed shots, defensive pressure, or the shots just didn't fall? Combination. Hard yeah. hard rims. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of a lot of open good looks. So I, it was just on us not making the shots. Questions for the Lions. Tyree, talk a little bit about uh, you know, well, Don, you know, coming off a really big game against Charlton the last time, gets in foul trouble tonight. Talk about kind of the uh, some of the responsibility you think you, you take on, took on tonight uh, as a primary scorer, kind of having to pick up the load. Um, well, I look, I look to Tuss and Ladon a lot, and I just play. You know, I've been been letting them have the show because they've been high hand all. You know what I'm saying, conference tournament, and I just been laying back. But when, when one of them not slow, it's usually two guys going off. You know what I'm saying? And when it's three, when we blowing teams out. But it's just it's regular for us that you know what I'm saying, to switch up. And so two people be out, two people be on at one time. Coach, if you would just talk a little bit about the play of Cameron Price off the bench for you tonight. Well, he's he's had he's had a good tournament. He's a senior. He's he's he has the hunger and he knows that, that there's there's going to be a day that's going to come uh, 
pretty soon that the basketball is going to be over, and he has definitely played that way. I thought he and Daniel Ihambe, uh both off the bench in this tournament, have given us a, just quite a spark, and, and, and seniors do that. There's never been a year that we hadn't been. It starts winding down to the end, and they just uh, they elevate their game and their play. Their concentration level is a lot higher, and, and uh, we're very fortunate to, to have had him uh, to have him on our team, but it doesn't surprise me that he's had a good tournament here uh, this week. Devondrick, uh, if you could just kind of talk a little bit about how this last run, closing out the season well, of course, tough loss tonight, but the you know, hopeful possibility of still continuing on the season, how you know playing well here at the end of the season can very well carry over, hopefully, to the next portion of the season. Well, definitely, definitely. You know, we, we've been on a roll lately, you know, exclu excluding this loss. Uh, the past five or six games or so is the best basketball of the year. And Coach, uh, he says it all the time, um, teams get better now. They peak, they get better each and every day. And I feel like this team does that each and every day. We come to practice each game, we get better. It's something we can learn from, from whether it's a mistake or is it a positive. We, we, we continue to get better. And um, with this team, there's is, is, is no telling the, the limit with us, you know. So if we are able to get into that national tournament, it can be, you know, it, it's... We never know, man. Right. We'll be excited. Dangerous team. We'll be excited. Any more questions for the Lions? With you guys, key players being seniors, how would you guys describe you guys last ride coming to the tournament and also getting that last epic win that you guys had last game? Well, as a senior myself, you know, any time this, this game could be over, just even if you're not a senior, it's time to be over. So, but, as a senior, we just try to try to focus one game at a time. You know, we win this game, we move on. We win the next game, we move on. So there's just just what what you say in the breaks and in the huddles is like we, this is the only game we promised. This is the one game we got, so we got to give it all we got, and we come out with the win, come out with the loss. We played the game the right way. Great game to watch, guys. I know the scoreboard wasn't happy for you, but hopefully we'll be watching you next week. Thank Sir, you. Thank Outstanding. Thank you.